My question is that you say 80% of the Quran is 100% true and 20% is neither true or false. Can you give examples of things mentioned in Quran that are neither true or false? Thank you. What Brother Junaid from Toronto is referring to is when I speak on the topic of Quran in modern science, whether it's a talk or whether it's a question answer session, and when I prove about the various aspects of the Quran that is compatible with the science, I always make it a point to say that Quran is not a book of science. S-C-I-E-N-C-E -E, but it's a book of signs S-I-G-N-S it's a book of ayats and there are more than 6,000 ayats 6,000 signs in the glorious Quran out of which more than a thousand speak about signs S-C-I-E-N-C -E -E. and the beauty of the Quran is there is not a single verse of the Quran which goes against established signs so based on this I say that makes Quran compatible with science and when people ask about certain things mentioned in the Quran which science has been able to prove or not so I give them just an assumption that if we analyze the Quran today out of more than thousand verses the Quran speaks about science and if we analyze approximately it's an approximate figure I say that maybe 80% turns out to be 100% accurate as per established science if thousand verses are talking about science and if you analyze 80 percent approximately I give an approximate estimate it can be 85 it can be 90 percent also 80 percent of whatever the Quran speaks about science has been proved to be 100 percent accurate and I've spoken in my talk the Quran speaks about astronomy the Quran speaks about water cycle the Quran speaks about about embryology, about biology, about zoology, about botany and there are thousands of verses. Now when we analyze I say approximately 80% turns out to be 100% true, accurate. The remaining 20% since science has been advanced, it may be 15%, it may be 10% that since science has been advanced, science can neither say it is true, science can neither say it is false. So I say that this 15 to 20 percent was science today cannot claim it to be right or wrong. My logic says when 80 percent is 100 percent correct and not 0.001 percent from this 80 percent has been proved to be wrong. So my logic says inshallah God willing even the balance 20 percent or the balance 15 percent will also be correct. So it is not a blind belief it's a logical belief. Me as a Muslim, yes, Quran says I blindly believe. But I, as a medical doctor, as a student of science, I say this is a logical belief. When 80% is 100% correct and not even 0.01% of the Quran has proved to be against established science, so my logic says the balance 20% inshallah will also be correct. So the question of Junaid is asking the question, which are those 20% of the verses of the Quran which science says it's not true, neither it is false. There are many such examples. First, let us talk about those which science doesn't say 100% but high chances. For example, today science cannot prove that there is life besides this earth. But there are, they are sending satellites and they are sending rockets in the space and they say there are high chances that there will be life besides this earth. And the Quran says, Allah has created the heaven and the earth and everything in between. So according to the Quran, there are creatures, there are living things other, on other planets, other place besides the heaven and the earth. But science has it proved now, but say there are high chances. For example, today, the scientists have given various hypotheses. How will the world end? And if you read in the Quran, Quran also says how the world will end. For example, Quran says the sun and the moon will join together. The Quran says the ocean will swell up. The Quran says the mountain will fall down in the ruin. Now many of these statements of the Quran are hypotheses given by scientists that this is how the world will end. So neither the science is agreeing or disagreeing, but there are high chances what the Quran says will turn out to be true. I being a Muslim, having faith in the Creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I believe all these verses are 100% accurate. What Quran is saying, high possible to tomorrow, the Quran will say it is 100% correct. There are many verses which, which science today is silent. 
There are many verses of the Quran on which science is silent. For example, Quran speaks about life after death. There is no scientific book which speaks about life after death. Quran speaks about heaven and hell. There is no scientific book which says that there is the existence of heaven and hell. But because the Quran says, we agree. The Quran speaks about jinn. The Quran speaks about angels. Science doesn't speak about that. The Quran speaks about soul. Science doesn't speak about that. So, these are various examples which science hasn't advanced so far. But because I'm a believer and I'm a student of science, I put this argument, a logical belief for the scientist, for the people of logic, that who believe in logic, that if 80% is 100% correct and if 20% is unknown, neither true or false, my logic says that inshallah, even the balance 20% which science hasn't advanced so much to know, inshallah will also be correct. Hope this answers the question.